The volunteer who has been found in the first step trains the new employee. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series on resource patterns in YAWL. Today we will look at deferred distribution. The ability to specify at design time that the identification of the resources to which instances of this task will be distributed will be deferred until runtime. You can see the behavior in the following flash animation. Okay, here we have two tasks. The first one is find a volunteer and the second one is train employee. So, we start the animation and we select a volunteer. So, in this case, we select Bill. We could have selected any of the three participants shown here. So, we select Bill. And now the work item for training the employee is allocated to Bill. Bill trains the employee and then completes the work item. In YAWL, we can implement this by system offer to a net parameter that designates a participant, as you can see here in the screenshot of the YAWL editor. So here we have five windows. We have the animation on the top left, on the top right is the window of the YAWL administrator. So the YAWL administrator can already go into case management and start a new case for this specification called deferred distribution. And so we have case ID 2. And we can now look at what happens to the first work item in the admin work list. And we can see the first work item is unoffered. On the bottom, we have Tracy, Alan, and Bill, and no one of them has a work item right now, so we can offer this work item as an administrator here and offer it to Tracy, for example. Now, Tracy has a work item here. And now, Tracy selects a volunteer and let's say Tracy selects Bill like it is here. So here we have Bill, Tracy or Alan. One of the three is a volunteer. So we go here and then we select Bill as a volunteer. And so the next work item, train employee, is now allocated to Bill. And if we go to the work list of Bill, we can find it here. We start the work item, complete the work item, and the case is finished. The selection here from a fixed list of participants isn't very flexible and just serves for the demonstration of the pattern. If a similar situation arose in a practical setting, you might probably use delegation. This is a resource pattern 27. It's not exactly the same behavior, but should do the right thing. And there is a YAWL tutorial on this. I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you for watching.